Hello everyone, welcome to Trigger. Today we're going to play this random horror game. It's going to go on the YouTubes, by the way, and we're on Twitch right now. So hi, hi Twitch. Hold right click to pick up. Hold left click to light candle. You need light to search items. Hold, I'm, I'm doing holding the left click. Ooh, anything in here? Take machine gun? <laughs> what? Already? Wow. Oh, Jesus. Hey, no. How do I left click to like can't- I'm trying to left click, but when I left click, bullets come out. Oh, come on. What the heck's going on here? What kind of game is this? Ah! Am I- is this over? Is it over? You need light to- I know I need light to search for items, but how am I supposed to grab? I think I did a boo-boo. We're gonna restart here. Oh! There we go! We're lighting the candles. Okay, now hold right click to search the drawers. Ooh, a revolver! Heck yeah, dude! I need ammo for it. <gasps> a knife? Holy moly, so who, whose house is this? Oh, is that a chocolate bar? You know, it's just something you normally carry in your in your dresser. You know, you got a knife, your revolver, your uh, your chocolate. Yeah, you know my my AK forty seven. It's next to my chocolate over there in my my chocolate drawer. I really I don't know what else to do. I'm stuck. I mean, I can shoot things here. I I, I interacted with every single thing in here. What do I do with the mob? <laughs> Alright, we're just gonna find another game now. Everything's turning off. No, it's getting dark. No! Ah! Okay, how about, let's see, a town called Fairview. How about that one, guys? Fairview is a nice little town where something has gone horribly wrong. You play an average person in that town. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm just an average person in that town. Controls are in the game, keyboard, and gamepad supported. You got it, dude. All right. A town called Fairview. Controls. Uh, okay. Arrow keys, left stick, X and A are my action keys. X and, okay, there we go. New game. A large vase that used to house a yucca plant. It died due to neglect. Oh, did it, huh? A potted plant, some nasty spikes on the leaves. Why would you put spikes on the leaves? A waste bin. Nothing in here other than some crusty tissues. Eww, nasty. My bedside table. There's nothing on it. I can't sleep right now. Although, I wish I could. Alright, let's go through the door. Whoa! It's a whole nother... I got a big house! I found a chocolate bar. Saving this for later for when I'm low on energy. A potted plant. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's on the telly? My lovely old TV set. Nothing but static right now. I hope it's not broken. The sofa I borrowed ages ago from someone I don't know anymore. You borrowed a sofa? Wh whoever yes goes into someone's house and it's all like, Hey, can I borrow your sofa? That does, that does not happen. That's not realistic. Uh, I'm not very interested. It looks like he has something to say about everything. I found a sausage stick. Okay, so another energy boost thing. Interesting. Let's check out the toilet room. Hello? A pedestal sink that's been seen better days. I don't need a bath right now. There's no hot water anyway. The plumbing in this building is atrocious. My humble toilet. Many a time destroyed by a curry hangover. A curry hangover? I don't think I know what that is, guys. Alright, let's go check this area out. I guess we gotta exit now, right? We got two chocolate bar- well, chocolate bar and a sausage. Oh, where are we to go? Okay, obviously, they don't want me to go through this way. The road is closed, I better go the other way, even though I could literally step around this comb. Yeah, yeah, obviously. It's awfully quiet out here. Where is everybody? I should probably look down the dark alley over there. Nothing bad ever comes of that. 
Okie dokie. Nothing bad ever comes of that anyway. A manhole cover. There's no way I can lift it. How about the sausage? An abandoned jeep. Nothing inside. Trash can. Smells really bad. I think there are some rodents living in there. Ooh, a dead end. How original. Anyway, I better check those bins for clues. I don't know what I'm looking for in, in the first place. I found a large envelope marked Joshua. There's a map book inside. Press M or select back to display map. <laughs> That's a great map. A dumpster filled with foul smelling rubbish. Great. An iron bar? <gasps> Trash can. Okay. Am I going to fight people? Who am I going to fight? Yeah! Look at that. I can't use the iron bar to lift the manhole cover. Great. Can I enter this door? I'm guessing probably not. It's locked. I knew it. I found a fizzy pop. Drink this when you need energy. You got it, dude. Um, Anything else? Anything in the park? Large leafy tropical plant. It looks out of place here. Mm. Okay, so it looks like there's some zombies over there. I'm gonna beat the crap out of them. They're dust people. They're dust bunnies that we're fighting, guys. All this time we were just neat freaks. We just had OCD. What on earth were those things? Like people, but just shadows? I need to find out what's going on here. An old pickup truck. Nobody's inside. You know what's going on? You've gone crazy. That's what happened. Crowd control barrier. Those are filled with foul- okay, okay, yeah, I, I know that. You don't have to look into every single bit of trash. I hope there's some more goodies here, though. No. Abandoned Jeep. I wish there were a run button. But there is not. I have to deal without a run button. Let's check out the map here. Okay, we're coming along nicely. One of these things has have to has got to have good things. Wait, what? A van someone has left here unlocked and unattended. Maybe I could drive it out. Whoa! Oh, that's a big uh That's a lot of um I probably can't get close to that. I'm I'm going to avoid this. I'm gonna avoid that giant cloud. I'll come back to that later on. Get away! Freaking dust bunnies. I swear, dust bunnies. If you get into my lungs, I would be so mad. I'd be so mad. I'm gonna have to get Mr. Clean over and beat you up. I'm gonna beat you up. Police station. I think it's open. It's locked. Great. Anything in the bushes? Nope. Something about being thick and lush though. Locked door? Yep. Whoop 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 whoop. Whoop 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 whoop. Okay. So we pretty much almost explored everything. Oh, a police station key. Nice. You know, here's a police station key. Just like usual. It's just, just there. Just hanging out. You know. Anyone can go grab a police station key. Nothing else, huh? I think I might just end up doing a big loop-de-loop. -loop. Uh oh. There's three of them here. Get this guy first. Alright. Nice. Who would have known that you could beat ghosts with an iron pipe? Those aren't things they tell you in school, kids. Is this a hospital? This game's pretty big. I'm impressed. 
Locked. I guess I... The only choice I have is to go to the hospital now. I mean to the police station. Maybe there's something back here though. Hospital key? Yeah! But I think we want to go to the police station first. They should probably have guns. Man, I'm the world's slowest walker. I unlocked the door for technical reasons. I'll lock it again when I leave. Okay. Okay, dokie. A large waste bin. It's nice and shiny. Locked. Nothing there. Jumbled shelving and cupboards with all manners of books and papers. Is this an interrogation room? Solid looking desk. It's been kept nice and tidy. Not interested. I like my waist bin like I like my Pokemon. Shiny. A nice corner desk. Ah, nothing here. Why? Why would I want to go... Who in the right mind waking up in some weird dimension where ghosts are real? Would think, oh, you know what? Maybe I should go visit the police station. They would probably know what's going on. They're experts in ghosts. The police. They usually know a thing or two about... About the ghosts. Do I get a map for this? I do. You murdered someone. That wasn't a ghost! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Don't tell anybody! They better have something here, otherwise what a waste of space. If you didn't need it, why did you program it in? If you didn't need it, why'd you program it in? You know, from the side, I kind of look like, uh, what's his name? Uh, I forget the name of the guy who, uh... The guy who makes the the famous guy with the exercise videos. Oh, there's another one here. <gasps> oh! The, the destroyed remains of some sort of advanced machine. This must be what was turning everyone into shadow people. Wait, how do you know it was people being turned into shadow people? How do you know those things? Anchored into concrete. Bob Ross or X- um, I can't, I can't remember his name, but he's- he, he has fluffy hair too, but he- he- he exercises. Yeah. And he has a voice like this! <laughs> yeah! Pump it, sister! <laughs> oh, Jesus! That guy scared me. Shake that butt! Okay, these must be the cells. A jail toilet. And it couldn't be more horrible. Richard Simmons. That's him! Yes, thank you. Hey, kitty. Richard Simmons. That's the guy. Haha, <laughs> you guys can't touch me. So yeah, this guy looks like Richard Simmons. <laughs> uh, did we see everything already? Famous exercise guy and first thing he came up, huh? You know who I was talking about, though. You know that guy. Okay, I guess... Is that it? Is that literally it in the po I guess I gotta break that other machine that we saw over in the... in the town. Okay, let's go see if we can find that machine. Hello again! No! It was Grandma's ghost! Oh no! Such a bad person. She was just gonna tell me that she was okay in the afterlife! <laughs> <laughs> it did not worry. No. 
All right, we gotta get to the hospital next. What on earth are those things? Like people, but just shadows. I need to find out what's going on here. Um, yeah, we established that like about five minutes, ten minutes ago, dude. You don't know what's going on, but there's machines. Maybe it has to do with the machines? Have you thought about that? The machines you've been destroying that somehow you already knew you had to destroy. Oh no! That was actually a human. He was just really dusty. Nice. Alright, hospital time. Ooh, hospital spoopy. Some pigeonholes filled with various mail, papers, and other small items. Whiteboard with lists of people's names written on. Uh oh! Bye bye, smelly ghosts. Monitoring equipment. An ECG? Isn't an e e e e is it an ECG? Is it an, is it an an EKG? EK electrocardiogram? Oh no no no! It is ECG. What am I thinking about? What am I? A doctor? I'm not a doctor. What do I know? El Doctor. Go away, doctor. <laughs> Watch it be like, plot twist, you were actually sleepwalking the whole time. Oh no. And you killed people in real life. I'm guessing the only really thing of interest- Whoops! Looks like developer forgot to put a furniture here. Imagine it's a nice office or something. Gee, thanks developer. Fourth wall breaking, huh? Breaking the immersion. I was so immersed in this game and then all of a sudden you you went on with that. Man, I gotta start from the beginning again. Ah, I haven't gone through here. Oh, there it is. To be continued. What? No, you don't do this to us. No. No, that's not how this works. No, you gotta give us at least like a mini ending or something. Like, 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 give us a little tiny thing where I don't know. Like a lot of like uh, by breaking all those machines, like all of a sudden everything gets smoky and dark, and then. You, you disappear and appear in like the shadow realm or something. I don't know. Something. And then say to be continued. Then that would make more sense. No, you can't use fade to dark and say to be continued. Well, guys, that was a town called Fairview. It was, uh, it was kind of fun a little bit. Um, I mean, it is from the horror humor jam, I believe. But uh, definitely ha has some work that can be done to it. Should we see if there's more games, guys? Run game. Here we go, guys. This game is called Vitreous. SS Sleep Well. Okay. There's no audio here. Okay, there's some people just kind of waving their arms around on a boat. But why? Oh, here I am. Okay, I'm moving. Oh, <laughs> I don't think I want to do that. Splash! Oops, my bad. Oh, oh, oh. This became an underwater adventure, guys. Should we touch the eyeball? Let's touch the eyeball. <gasps> it disappeared. It disappeared. Let's go in the hole, in the reef. Let's see if SpongeBob lives down there. Coral, but I knew there would be no coming back. What are you talking? What's going on? Let's go capture whatever that thing is. What's going on so far? Anchored me to the water, and I floated up into a frozen scene. 
of desolation. Jeez, I have a uh, pretty good lung capacity if I'm able to swim this deep. Give me your eyeball. I guess we're just gonna keep swimming to the eyeball. I slide through the iris, the flesh of the lens fold around. My body welcoming me to my new home. Is this my new home? Did we achieve Nirvana? I have ascended to another plane. My wetsuit, air tanks, skin, flesh and bones have melded into the vitreous body. Ah. Uh, vitre. What? <laughs> what? Okay, this time I'm talking to the guy on the right instead of jumping off. I love watching the boats make fade slowly into the distance. The kelp forest. What? Let's capture Slenderman. What is going on here? This is the weirdest game ever. Okay, I guess that's it's a really short game. Well, that's uh, Vitreous, guys. Yay! Okay, let's try another game, guys. Alright guys, here we go. Twisted Mirror. Let's do this. Okay. Play. I don't know why I decided to come to this fair. I'm third wheeling anyways. We're only here for Rema's Funnel Cake Boy. And I'm way too tired after my shift to pretend he's interesting. I just want to go home, honestly, but I said I'd be here. Our local church threw the John, John together and dressed it up with food carts and a bouncy castle, which is supposed to make it exciting, I guess, and called it a fair. Talk about a waste of time. Wait, I didn't get to read that thing. Oh, well, okay, to be fair, this event itself isn't a huge waste. It's almost like a flea market. It's pretty cool. Some neat clothes, old books, things like that. That's currently... What's currently caught my eye is this one mirror. It's a very interesting mirror indeed. I never really been that into mirrors, but the design of this one had caught my eye. I think it's pretty cool looking. Uh... Kai, let's go. Ah, that must be Dan calling me, but I kind of want to keep looking at the mirror. Should we go follow Dan or should we look at the mirror? Let's look at the mirror. The more I peer into this mirror, the more entranced I feel. My eyes are magnetically drawn to the surface and I can't look away. Come inside. What in the... Okay, I know I am not tripping. I heard something. Someone must be playing some dumb prank. I look back at the mirror and I jolt in surprise. There's a hand there and it's not my hand. Does it want me to take it? What is this, a chocolate factory? That's ridiculous. Uh, let's go ahead and grab the hand. I reach my hand out and my hand starts to phase through the mirror. Is someone stuck in there? The stranger backs away as I reach out to them. But what I don't realize was that my whole body basically started to go through the mirror. What just happened? Where in the world am I? Did I just stay in the same place I was in before? It looks colder even though it's not, and all the people are gone. The sun seems to have moved. Two, it's like noon now. Is this some kind of trick mirror for a prank show? Call if anyone's there. I yell out, but all I hear is the wind blowing lightly through the fair tents. If this is a prank show, they really went all out to pull some joke on me. And I thought it was bad when we gave Sean a pancake that was actually a bar of soap. <laughs> nah, this right here takes the cake. 
Uh, how does anyone think that a bar of soap is a pancake? Well, they put all this effort in. Maybe I should explore a bit. Or what happens if I try to go back into the mirror instead? Hmm, should I explore a bit or should I go back into the mirror? Let's explore. Looking around this place gives me a not so great vibe. I mean, sure, it doesn't look too creepy, but something I can't place my finger on about this place makes me feel uneasy. Joke or not, I don't like that I'm here alone. I keep walking further in with hopes that I'll find an exit to this place, but it seems almost endless, which immediately fills me with anxiety because I have no idea which way I came from the first place. Great! I look around for a while and it gets old pretty quick. It's just empty tents and far, as far as the eye can see, but a body in, not a body in sight. Not even the shadow that lured me in here. I should start making my way back to where I was. Maybe they got the mirror open again and are looking for me. Okay, I know from here I made a right. From here I definitely went left. Oh, oh, oh. But from here, where do I go? Let's go forward. Right? Left? Left? Right? Oh boy, what's going on? Right? Left? Right? Ah! But right? Right? There's a mirror up ahead. Nice! I go up to it, a little suspicious, keeping my hands buried in my pockets. It's weird enough I fell through this that first mirror. I don't need to fall through another. I can see the hallway behind me, or an identical one. Rather, since I can't see myself at all, my shadow doesn't even touch the glass. I lean in closer and blink in disbelief. I can't believe I thought that was the hallway. I can clearly see Rema at the funnel cake stall back at the fair. I smirk fondly at how stupid she's being, trying to nibble at her snack in a sexy way. And no wonder, too, that- oh, Jesus. <laughs> uh, that beep been obsessed with the past two months and is there. Dan's there, too. Ha, huh, he's so stoned. What is it? What's go oh, come on, tone it down. <laughs> Uh, but he's sitting on the pavement, tucking into what looks like his fifth funnel cake, judging from the paper plate scattered around him, completely oblivious to the world. Do you guys see the whole screen? I hope you guys can. Do they even know I'm not there? Do they care that I suddenly disappeared? Did they look around at all wondering where I got off to? Did they even glance around before they ordered to see if I wanted anything, or did they forget that I came with them? That guy isn't even paying attention to Rema. He doesn't care about her. He's never held her hair when she got puke drunk. What? What? Uh, are you? Uh, I don't care. <laughs> I did that for her. I let her crash on my couch when she ran away from school. I'm the one who paid every time we got out take out because she always forgot to keep cash on her and I never once asked her to pay me back. And there she is, forgetting me, laughing way too hard at something that probably wasn't that funny. If I was there, would the scene play out the same way? Would I be on stage at all? They're not even glancing around to look for me. I should keep moving. <gasps> Scary sounds. I turn away from the mirror, a little breathless. What else is in here? Is this like some sort of teleporting hub? Could I spy on anyone I could from here? The president? My ex? Could I travel to Taj Mahal if I found the right mirror? The possibilities make my head spin. I realize I'm panting and try to take a deep breath, but it's like the air is it's like the air is, I don't know, hot somehow. I feel like I'm breathing in pepper spray. I start coughing, but it just makes the burning in my throat feel worse. I can't help but cough through Though, until my neck and face are swollen. Um... I'm pretty sure he is delusional. Delusional. I tried thumping my chest, but it's not doing any good. 
I feel like I'm about to dry heave. My skin is burning, it's freezing, it's crawling with goosebumps. God, I'm so hot, I'm dying. I'm gonna puke. I'm on fire, I can't breathe. Oh god, I just puked. It's like I clawed all the way up my throat. Filled my gashes with acid. It's, it's gastric acid. There's so much. I can't stop. I can't believe I'm going to die this way. My eyes are bulging out of my head from the force of puking. I cough again, puke comes out of my nose. My legs give out and I land in a puddle. I don't even care. Ah! Uh, I fall to the floor, laying on my back. I see my arm and leg dangling on the walls. My body is throbbing, but at least the pain isn't so sharp anymore. A warmth pulls around me and I feel like I'm sinking into my bed at home. The pain isn't so bad anymore. My eyelids flutter and I feel myself drifting into sleep. Tomorrow's a Sunday, right? I don't need to set the alarm, do I? I'm too tired to pull my phone out of my pocket. Oh wait, it's out of battery anyway. Not that it really worked in this place anyway. I, I wonder if I'll find any missed calls when I... Well, game over. I died! What? What? Am I dead? I don't want to restart the maze. This is this is bad. This is I who who, who? no no. <laughs> what kind of maze was that? No, I'm not gonna do that again. Oh, it was it was neat. Like the concept was pretty interesting, but the whole drama. Eh, no, I could I could have done without that. Smile, a brief, bitsy horror game. Sure, run game. Smile. Okay. I said okay. I love candy. How about you? It's okay. I could take it or leave it. A sweet treat for you to keep. I guess you love it too. Now give it back. I'm running away. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. My candy. Give it back. I'm leaving. A key. What could it be for? Why won't you give it back? Why'd you give me the candy in the first place? Jerk. Uh, there's gotta be... I mean, I got a key. Oh, what? What's this? You can't run forever. <laughs> watch me. <laughs> Just watch me. Is that a shape of a skull or something? What the hell is this? Is this another maze? But I can't... I can't see which way. Oh, what a pain. Eventually, I'll get there. There we go. <gasps> the door unlocks. Don't go, you can't leave. It's impossible to leave. Um... Watch me. I will leave. Wait, what? What'd it say? What What did it say? I missed it. Whoa, what? Smile. Oh, come on! What? A okay. Okay, that's the end of the game, apparently. If I put this on YouTube, you could pause it there and see what it says. <laughs> grim Tactics. You're the Grim Reaper. That sounds pretty silly. Okay, guys. This is Grim Tactics. Play. To advance, you must claim the souls of all the undead by moving only in straight lines and taking a soul with every move. Sounds good. Just like the real Grim Reaper. How do I... What? Apparently this game performs best in Chrome. You see that right there? It says performs best in Chrome. We're using Chrome right now, guys. This is the best experience of the game we can get. Oh! What? Wait, hey, what? Hey, turn back here. This guy. Are you gonna get him? 
Are you gonna get him? <gasps> yeah! This guy too. Good job, dude! Level 2 of... Wait, what, what happened to level 1? I'm so confused. Okay, so I think I get how this plays now. I got this guy, and then I go to the right. I'm gonna grab this guy. Basically, you can only go in straight lines. Then I could get the guy on the left and the right. The audio is really low. This guy. Yay! Level 3 completed. Okay, now how do we do this one? Oh boy. Mm, let's try this. We go here. I gotta go to this guy here. So imagine kind of like in uh, Pokemon, you know that one, uh, the 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 maze where you're kind of sliding on the ice. It's kind of like that. That's what it seems like. Now I could get this guy, and this guy. Wait, where are you going? No. Where the heck are you going? No! Turn back! He has disappeared. I guess it's time for his break, huh? Oh, unions, am I right, guys? <laughs> am I Am I right? Oh, there we go. Hey, welcome back. Welcome back from your break. I need you to get, get this guy out of the... Out of here. Take him back to the, uh... I don't know, hell? Yay! Good job, Grim Reaper. You're a good worker. Who employs the Grim, the Grim Reaper? This one's easy. Get this guy. And this guy. You think it's Amazon who employs the Grim Reaper? It's probably Amazon. Amazon employs everyone now. Kind of like in that fulfillment game. You guys should watch that one, by the way. If you guys are watching this on the YouTube. If I upload this on the YouTube. Because what is this? What is this? What is this? It's an interesting little game, I guess. I mean, it's free. I can't complain. Go the other way, Grim Reaper. There we go. Good job, dude. I'm proud of you. Huh. Maybe we could promote you to assistant assistant to the manager of Grim Reaper Enterprises. Okay, is this the last one here? Oh, this is easy. Easy peasy. We need bigger grids. This one. Ah! Oh! Okay, just a few more. Now with this dude. You ain't gonna be tooting where you going. Toot, 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 toot. Get that guy. One last guy to go. Well done! Thank you for playing! You're welcome. <laughs> okay guys, I'm gonna call it a night. That was, how many games did we play? Like four or five? A good amount. That was a good amount. So, Grim Reaper will be promoted to assistant to the manager. For Grim Reaper Enterprises. Have a good night! Good night, cutie cat. Good night, everyone. See you guys next time.